What's up guys, Captain Coin Collector here. Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, we're doing box 19, episode number 12 of the Penny Hunt and Phil. All right guys, what's going on? Captain Coin Collector here with another box of pennies. And we got this box a while ago from Oakland Park, Florida in October of 2022 at a Chase Bank. Hoping that we can find a good amount of wheat cents, 2009s, S mint marks, errors maybe, even a proof. But most of all, we're focused on hunting and filling our albums. Hopefully we can get a few today so that we're closer to 200 pennies in the album. We won't know unless we open the box and find out, so I'm not going to waste any time. Let's open the box, see if they're circulated, then start the hunt. Well guys, that's unfortunate. We do have one ender that is not a 2022, but the rest are. Making me feel like the whole box is just gonna be 2,495 2022s and a handful of other coins. So let me grab the next box so that we can hunt some circulated coins. All right, guys, back with another box. The box is gonna be from Dalton, Georgia. Picked it up at a Wells Fargo, and it does contain some bank wrapped as well as customer wrapped coins. So, Looks like we got a good even spread. Hopefully we can pull something from this box, unlike the last one. Anyway, guys, let's get into the hunt. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you guys know. We're on the ninth customer wrapped roll, and though we don't have any Wheaties yet, we do have our first 10 center. It's gonna be a dime, very scratched up, but still worth 10 cents. On roll number 10, and it seems like we also got another 10 center. This time in 2012 in a little bit better condition, but I'd rather 10 cents over a penny any day. All right, guys, we finished the customer wrapped rolls onto the bank rolls. Roll 23 of the hunt, and we finally got something we can be proud of. It's a 1971 San Francisco. All right, guys, roll 29, and I'm just thinking to myself, this is probably going to be the worst box of my life. And just as luck has it, I get my first wheat cent. It's going to be a 1947 Denver. Same roll, and I got another one hiding. It's going to be in terrible shape, but let's see the obverse. And it's a 1942. The last few rolls of this box are starting to pick up, with roll number 31 getting us another wheat scent. Still in terrible condition, but it's another wheat scent. Wheat scent number three is going to be a 1958 Denver. All right, guys, roll number 18, and it looks like we have two Wheaties in this roll. We got one right at the front. It's going to be a 1952 Denver. And I see one right here. Looks a little bit older. Let's see what the date is on this one. And it's going to be a 1945 Denver. Not only that, guys, but I missed it. But we do have a third Wheatie, a 1949 Philadelphia. So I'll go through the rest of the roll real quick to see if we have anything else. But... It doesn't look like it. Three Wheaties in one roll? That is awesome. And most of them are from the 40s. Roll 17 is going to give us a dime. Another 10 center in place of a penny. Same roll, and we're going to get ourselves a Canadian first one of the hunt. 1981. Looking down the roll, guys, I see our seventh wheat scent. Let's see the date on this thing. 1956 Denver. We are on a hot streak with the wheat scents. Five rolls in a row we found them, including this one. Let's see the date on this one. It's going to be a 1940 Philadelphia, our oldest of the hunt so far. Roll number 35. The next roll, we did it again, guys. Another wheat scent. One from 1956. On roll number 42, and we got ourselves not only this 1984 Canadian, which is our second foreign of the hunt, but we got another wheat scent, as you see here. The date, and that is an estimate mark. I'm pulling under the scope because it was a little dirty, but we got a 1953S. We're on roll number 46, and it looks like we got our third Canadian, a 1980. All right, guys, all done with the hunt. We got no last roll luck in this one, but... Honestly, I thought this was going to be one of my worst boxes ever. But about two-thirds through the box, we started getting those wheat scents, and that was very clutch for this hunt. 
In all, we got 10 wheat scents. Half of them were from the 1940s, the other half, the 1950s. We found three 1959s, one San Francisco. Three dimes isn't bad for a penny hunt, as well as three Canadians. We also found eight 2009s and a few shinies that could hopefully upgrade some spots in the albums. All right, guys, time to go over the books. Volume number one, we did find a 1940, but unfortunately, the 1940 we have in our book is in better condition, so we're not going to make any upgrades. But to remind you guys, we have 18 out of the 89 slots filled in this album. For volume two, as bad as the hunt started, it really finished up pretty great in that we got a whopping three fills in this album. The first fill is going to be the 1945 Denver, the second, 1947 Denver, and third, 1953 San Francisco. So a whopping three fills in this book puts us over the 70 mark in this one album, 71 out of 87 slots filled. Volume number three, it's already complete, but we do have one upgrade, and that's going to be the 2007 Denver. Our last US album is volume number four, and we aren't going to have any upgrades in this book. So, on to the Canadians, where we found three Canadians today. Hopefully one's a filler, if not, hopefully one's an upgrader. It's unfortunate, but we didn't get any upgrades or fills in our Canadian albums, which means we still have 25 in this book, as well as 14 in the other book, making our total for the Canadians 39 out of 112 spots filled. Still 35% done with the Canadian albums. All right, guys, so in the end, Penny Hunt and fill number 12, box number 19 is all completed. We did get three fills in volume number two, which made the hunt a little bit more valuable. Like I said at the beginning, we weren't finding anything. The first 14 customer wrapped rolls didn't produce a single wheat scent, nor did the next 10 to 15 rolls of the bank wrapped. But we caught up, found 10 wheat scents altogether, and now we have a total of 196 out of the 283 slots filled in our album with those three fills and one upgrade. The Canadians, we didn't do any work today. We did find three, but none upgraded or filled the albums. Thank you guys so much for watching and enjoying this Penny and Hunt and Phil series. I know I've been enjoying it a lot. I hope you guys are doing the same. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, guys, I'm Kevin the Coin Collector. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, happy hunting.